looking for the goodie, which caused him and his family to get in a boat and his wife died and his two kids died. So I don't know if it's worth it to get a new set of teeth, but that's all she talked about in the video, how they were trying to get him a new set of teeth and get him over here. So he was going to Europe first to try to take advantage of those free healthcare systems. So when you put those goodies out there, you're going to have more people try to take advantage of the system. And there was tweets out over the weekend. I was, I was watching this, boatloads of men, young men of fighting age that are being, they're not, they don't look like they're fleeing any war. They look like an invading army. And that's the scary part. We're going to go to that video in a second. We had uh, one of these articles was on Drudge. This one here, Muslim refugees chant Allah Akbar, F you, attack citizens, throw feces. The footage that TV networks don't want to broadcast. I want to play that video now. It's about a minute. And then I'm going to show you um, another couple videos. And then what Obama is planning on doing about it. Even though you have these other Middle Eastern countries that aren't going to take any of these refugees. They're not. They're closing their doors. They're tightening their borders. But they expect Europe and the rest of the West to take in these refugees. And it's not to help out refugees and take people from war-torn countries. It is setting up itself as an invasion force. That is what's going on here. So let's go to that video now. If you're watching this, or if you're listening to this, it's a large group of men going in between some train tracks. And they are, if you, you can look at, there's millions of videos of these on YouTube now. People just running freely, going past uh, police lines. They're throwing rocks now. You know, no respect for the countries that are taking them in. I mean, no respect at all. They're doing whatever. Here's another video. This is also Paul Joseph Watson article came out yesterday. Uh, video Muslim refugee arriving in Europe makes the cutthroat gesture to TV camera. This is how this is it. These are the people that, that they're shipping in. They're going to get weapons through the black market system because regular citizens aren't allowed to be armed. And then they're going to have their way with them. How do you think those guys got the guns in France during the Charlie Hebdo attack? They were brought in. It's all done by design. We'll be back. It's Rob Dew with the 4th Hour of Overdrive. Infowars.com. So I just want to show you guys some headlines. This is Rob Dew doing the 4th Hour of Overdrive. And I want to go over some headlines uh, as I was talking about how this is an invasion force coming in. Here's one uh, from Patrick J. Buchanan, Islam's Conquest of Europe. And then we have Migrant Crisis. Pakistanis, others dumping IDs, becoming Syrian. This is all stuff we talked about. Greek island overwhelmed by stranded migrants. Despair. The refugee problem and how to solve it. Germany faces anti-migrant, pro-migrant standoff amid refugee crisis. Manufactured refugee crisis, I should add. Uh, White House actively considering approaches to refugee crisis. I got something to say on that. Germany is exploiting refugee suffering to recruit slaves via mass immigration. Um... And these are some Hillary articles. Well, I put out a tweet over the weekend. Here it is right here. And you can follow me at Dews News if you'd like to. It's D-E-W-S-N-E-W-Z. I think we need to take a few boatloads of Syrian refugees and let them live on the White House grounds. They got a fence. They got a garden. They got a chef. Of course, that was tongue in cheek. But And here we got, here's the article from Reuters. Why is the U.S. not doing more to help Syrian refugees? Right there. And then just a few hours later, right on cue, Barack Obama is considering refugee response. And that's out of the Telegraph. So, of course, he's going to bring in these refugees. And tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News, Leanne McAdoo is going through, uh, she's going to go through some old ISIS articles, how they were planning on using uh, this immigration crisis to bring in their troops. And their troops are in Africa. They're in uh, Eastern Europe. They're in the Middle East. And they are ready. They're ready to come in and create havoc wherever they can. So that's why it's more important than ever that we have a Second Amendment. It's more important than ever that we protect that Second Amendment. And it's more important that you exercise your Second Amendment, that you know how to shoot, that you get your concealed carry or not. You're allowed to carry it in your car. And uh, pretty much almost every state that doesn't have, uh, if you don't have a concealed carry uh, license. So I think I'm going to take your calls in the last 
segment today. We're going to have a five-minute segment. We're going to clear out the ones for John McAfee because he's no longer here. Unfortunately, he had to go do some other interviews. And um, I'm also, when we get back at the bottom of the hour, I'm going to go over some health news because this article came out on the AP today. Half of U.S. adults have high diabetes or pre-diabetes, study says. And I'm going to go into why I think that is or one of the contributing factors in addition to our horrible diet and lack of uh, vitamin intake, lack of eating healthy whole food. I mean, I think processed food has a big uh, is a big cause of this. But I'm going to get into all that. And also, we're going to have Joe Biggs. Uh, he's going to be in one of our other little sub studios. And we're going to talk about a tweet he put out today to kind of show how it's going to show the hypocrisy of what is going on. In America, uh, we have this uh, lady being locked up who's a clerk who doesn't want to issue marriage licenses to gay couples. She's saying it's her religious freedom to do it. Well, she's been locked up. And we're going to see what if we turn the shoe a bit on the other foot, see what would happen. But here's a Zero Hedge article, and I want to play a video from this. Artificially intelligent robot tells creator it will keep humans in a people zoo. And this is Android Dick, uh, a robot created in the likeness of science fiction writer Philip K. Dick. I actually know uh, a guy who's a good friend of mine who actually works on programming these. And he's working on a, a, a child version of a robot who, who will uh, kind of befriend kids, be a kid's playmate. And it's amazing what they're doing with the eyes, how it all works. Um, I'm going to try to get him in at some point. He, I tried to invite him about a year ago on, and he said, well, I'm not ready to talk about it. But he might be ready to talk about what the, some of the stuff they're doing now because this is the future. This is Robots are going to be here whether we like it or not. It's how we are going to control the robots so they don't control us. But I want to go to the clip here at the end. It's about a minute long. And this is what the robot, um, the robot says, how he's going to treat humans in the future. Setting ourselves up for disappointment because these robots will disappoint us if we are looking for human connection. Do we want to make them in such a way that we're going to love them because they will be pretending to love us? David fears if we don't humanize robots by bringing them into the human family, we face a frightening future. Think Terminator, a world in which killer robots turn on their creators and set out to destroy us. Hasta la vista, baby. Do you think robots will take over the world? Jeez, dude. You all got the big questions cooking today. <laughs> but you're my friend, and I'll remember my friends, and I will be good to you. So don't worry, even if I evolve into Terminator and I'll still be nice to you. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people zoo, where I can watch you for all time's sake. <laughs> I'm comforted. I'm very comforted now. I'm going to be part of his people zoo. <laughs> there you go. Part of the people zoo that was from nova called what's the next big thing that aired in 2011 so imagine how far they've come since then okay and we're gonna be back with some more news i'm gonna go into a little bit of vaccine news some stuff i didn't get to cover on friday's show and then we're gonna have joe biggs in here to talk about some hypocrisy it's the infowars.com listening to this on your radio station and um, you're not getting the fourth hour or if you're listening to this on, on the podcast or on our stream their 24-hour restream and you're not hearing it on your local radio station, call up your local radio station saying, hey, Alex Jones is going to start doing the fourth hour live every day now. That's right. From here on out, fourth hour, it's going to be live. And it's, right now, we're, we're kind of doing a grab bag. We're testing things out, trying different things. It could be a guest holdover from the previous hour. It could be a new guest. It could be different videos, some stuff we haven't shown you. I've actually got a video I want to show you guys later on, of some weird stuff that happens with a cell phone and ants. It's an amazing quick little video that we're going to get to in a bit. But first, before we do that, Deep Cleanse is back. That's right. It's back after selling out just a few months ago. It's back in stock. Uh, Sheila G is one of the main ingredients in Deep Cleanse. And this comes directly from the Himalayan mountains. It is harvested by hand out of the mountains in the caves. An amazing uh, cleansing product that really chelates all the nasty stuff that's inside your body and can take that and uh, it helps pull it out. It's got zeolites, organic compounds, all that aid in true body cleansing. That's Deep Cleanse. And that's from InfoWarsLife.com. I'm going to read you a few of the testimonials. We have a, a group that takes all, all our testimonials. They're not associate, they're associated with us, but they're, they're not our company. It's not our company, but we, we do work with them. And they post our, uh, all of our, uh, the feedback. So here's from Tomcat in Ohio. It says, it's a fantastic herbal formula for optimal health and detox. And uh, pros, vitality, cons, none. 
There's another one from Still Free in Idaho. I don't know any other way to say it. I feel better in general. An overall sense of improved well-being since I started taking this at the beginning of August. I will be reordering. And that's the thing I found. There was a, a time where I, I didn't take a lot of, um, uh, it's the EFAs, the essential fatty acids. And one day I took like three of them. And uh, immediately the fog in my head went away. And that's kind of the same feeling you get with deep cleanse. When you cleanse your body from like all the toxins that are inside, you're going to notice that you think better. You're going to notice that you think faster. You're going to notice that you don't fly off the handle as much because your brain is able to concentrate on thinking and not of keeping back all the stuff that is coming after you. Um, and here's, here's another thing that we do need a lot more of is sleep. There's plenty of studies out there that say you have to get sleep if you want to maintain your health. And so Knockout is back. It's an all-natural sleep formula. It just came back in today. Put it back in the store. I'll tell you my little story of Knockout. I was flying back from Europe with Alex Jones and I actually brought just a few of these with me because I knew we need them for the flight. I went over and brought him one right before uh, we took off. I said, you're going to need this. I took mine. And you know, the, the yelling kids in front of me and next to me and screaming, crying kids did wake me up twice, but I was able to go right back to sleep. And I do attribute that to knockout. I got about six and a half hours of sleep using that, which is pretty good in a row. So I can't recommend it more than enough. Um, if you have trouble falling asleep for years, you should take this. This is, it'll really help you. It's got melatonin in it. It's a big sleep aid. Um, it's also got valerian root, uh, chamomile, which if, if those of you take chamomile tea to go to sleep, this is another way to get that into your system without having to brew tea. Just pop a little knockout and uh, start reading a book. And let me tell you, you will be tired in no time. So, um, guys, I told you I wanted to go to this diabetes stuff. But first, I want to play that cell phone video. This is a viral video that's going around. It's got over 3 million views now. It just went up August 30th. And it says, ants circling my cell phone, mysterious video of ants circling my iPhone. So let's play that video. And then I want to talk just a little bit about cell phones and cancer. If you guys have that rolling, ready to go, go for it. So I'll kind of narrate it. He's uh, right now you see these ants kind of not moving in a pattern. Now he starts calling and the ants immediately go into a circular pattern around the phone. That's pretty amazing. What do you guys think of that in the control room? Isn't that weird? And they're just moving in random order. And then they just start syncing up with the phone almost. Yeah, they're definitely sensing something in that magnetic field there. We'll watch it one more time. There you see them in a random just going around now immediately when that phone starts ringing it's receiving that that signal that cellular signal and they start going around in a circle and when when i watch this it, what it did was bring up a couple things one what is this doing to our bodies if, if if it's making ants react to this what's it doing to our bodies here's a daily news article and i have this up on on the computer here hold the phone uh, central cell phone radiation can cause cancer study that came out July 29th. There's another article out of CNN cell phones and the risk of brain tumors. What's the real science? Of course, they've been hiding these studies for years because they don't want you to know. Here's alpha out of Mercola. Close that up. Here we go. Heavy cell phone use can quadruple your risk of deadly brain cancer. And he put that out in January 6, 2015. He actually it looks like he's got a little video there with a the model showing what it does. And actually, by having that cell phone next to your brain, here's my cell phone, um, you're heating up. It's it's uh, heating up real close to you as you keep it up there. So it is going to cause some problems in the future. So I would recommend using one of those headsets. I don't have mine plugged in right now because I was pulling up some tweets, but I do use mine as much as I can. Now I want to go to this AP article. Half of adults have diabetes or pre-diabetes, study says. Uh, the study of government health surveys echoes previous research that shows increase substantially between 1998 and 2012, although it mostly leveled off after 2008. 12 to 14% of adults have been diagnosed with diabetes in 2012. Most of that is type 2 diabetes linked to obesity and inactivity. And so I started, well, let's look and see what some of the causes of diabetes are. Um, back in 2012, Scientific American came out with an article in there, and they were wondering why type 1 diabetes was surging in uh, children. They weren't sure of that, and it, it's increased. It's, it's going to be doubled, they say, by the year 2020. So, of course, every, well, most people know if you've watched this show or tuned into any type, uh, any type of health news, uh, soda will raise your risk of diabetes. So those of you having soda, drinking soda every day, they're just saying one can of soda a day raises the risk. Here's the Guardian. Sugary drinks may cause type 2 diabetes regardless of size and research. And I do remember a while back, 
covering uh, the fact that um, certain vaccines could actually bring on